I just realized this entire time I've been muted. <laughs> I just realized this entire time my audio channel was on a different was on a different one for a different recording session. So this entire time, right, for 30 minutes, I've been muted. And I've just like I've just been like troubleshooting the entire stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this stream, this stream is such a bust. It is such a bust. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, as you can tell, because this is what Markiplier sounds like. Silent Roots. It's no different than how I am normally whenever I record or play a game. So, I mean, hey, you, you got the experience firsthand. You missed, uh, I guess you missed, like, my reaction of, like, um, I don't know, like, discovering that I was lagging. I was just about to ask if you were okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, unfortunately, this is, um, unfortunately, this is a lag stream, so I'm not doing well. In terms of streaming, but hey, I'm I'm glad that you know everyone is is still joining. Everyone's still you know like typing in chat, despite me um, being silent for like thirty minutes. Also, yes, I've I've gotten I've gotten uh, the Riz puns with my with my username. At some point, someone just said, oh, look, it's my favorite content creator, Risen Tits. Take, take that as you will. I'm going to sleep mode. Um, I don't know what to do now, because if I try to play Splatoon, um, I will I will lag to hell and back because of internet problems but you want to know something i want it to end the stream because i am lagging sporadically but why do that why not just sit back relax and just talk but not only just talk right Let's watch. The resolution changed for some reason. Where are you? Wait. 1920 by 1080. There you are. You know what? This is what I like about streaming. If I was recording, I would have been genuinely frustrated off of me lagging. And of course, like me being like muted for like half, you know, like almost half of it. But since there are people here that like to watch me for some reason, <laughs> I can just sit back, relax and show you something. It's something really cool. There is new DLC for Duck Simulator. That adds a new pool. Hypnospace download. As well as um, this add on right here. There he is. Zuck.
OBS is saying that this is at 60 frames, so we have the smooth duck experience. All right, now to name the stream something appropriate. Um, hmm. Screw Splatoon Ducks instead. There we go. I just love seeing like the two minutes that it peaks at like five viewers and then immediately back at two. <laughs> I love that. I need to stop focusing on that shit. Just enjoy the duck. Look at Zuck. Look at him. Love your duck tuber era. This is a comfort game. Helps me calm down. Where, where did he go? Oh, he went up here. Now he's going in the cylinder. Is he gonna go straight up? No. He's gonna get up there. I have faith in him. Get up there. No. Come on, Zuck, you can do it. Let me cut the audio up. <gasps> there he goes. Now he's in the ship. <laughs> he's watching, uh, he's watching himself on the screen right there. The music for this pool is actually really good. Is that Timmy? That's Timmy, isn't it? Oh, no, it's Piccaro. <gasps> Jack. I didn't even know you were here. Jack and Piccaro. The Tone Brothers. I still will say it is unfortunate that this game still does not have like a free camera mode. The camera is still only locked to these like, you know, these sitting areas. As well as just, um, you know, the ducks themselves. But I understand not including one because that's adding interaction to the game. And this is the game where you sit down and you do nothing.
think they buff. I think they buff the speed in which a new duck has arrived because the duck gauge is like rising extremely quickly now. Compared to like, you know, the first iterations of the game. Yeah, I just thought of something. Hello. Why? Why can't I? You're playing the better limited time mode in Splatoon Salmon Run. It's not even limited time anymore, which is the funniest thing. Which even at that still, like you could say the same thing for extra work and I would still agree with you. Extra work is like so fun. I just wish it was like a daily thing. I really do. I don't understand why it's not a daily thing. You look at all other, oh yeah, right. Um, AFK cam. You look at all other like games that have like a daily type of challenge right which is funny that i say that like take a take for example if you played a rogue like like binding of isaac risk of rain um hell even something that's not a rogue like like bloons tower defense um you know you look at it and there it, there's just a challenge every single day it's just like oh hey do this one thing right like all you need to do is just do this one thing and it'll change and you know you have a certain time to do it there's like a leaderboard for it and everything haven't done the extra work yet oh it's it's the best um it's the best way to play salmon run in my opinion It's crazy because there's supposed to be another mode coming to Salmon Run, you know, a difficult mode. Oh, I just realized the new duck is a uh, pearl. The new um, mode is supposed to be just a harder version of regular Salmon Run. And I just I'm just so interested to see, like, what's in store for that. I just wish they do something unique and different and it's not like, um, oh, you get no rewards. It's just for the, the sake of challenge, like, you know. Don't you need extra people to play extra work or can you go solo? Um, not for the first extra work, but they changed it to where you can queue up for solo. I think it's going to be exceptionally hard because there's going to be people um, who play a certain weapon and will try to queue you up with people who, you know, have different weapons, right? They just go with their weapon of choice and then they just queue up. Because you can't have multiple of one weapon in extra work because that, you know, also be like multiple of one special too. Well, multiple of... Um, one certain special designated to that weapon so yeah they they did add um solo queuing to extra work but i think it's going to be harder than just fighting friends is everyone's life gone i'm just experimenting dude i'm just still trying to figure out what what works i'm just trying my best i'm you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like frustrated at how my mind operates in certain moments. But aside from that though, everything is still, everything's still going good. Also, yeah, I hope the, the yellow Pikmin is very, very cute. Is that Dipper?
All right, hold on. Get rid of you. You know, this would just be such an incredible, ah, incredibly. This would be such a incredibly easy daily stream type of thing. I just put on ducks in the background and just, I don't know, do other things. This music slaps. I know, right? They, they did an outstanding job when it came to the music. I'm gonna get a sketchboard going while ducks are in the background. This music on Spotify? No idea. If not, then I know for certain there's gonna be someone who, um, there's gonna be someone who adds it to Spotify. Oh, lucky? Oh, it's <laughs> it's stuck soon. Ever heard of whiteboard fox? No. If it's like a like a multi people like whiteboard thing, where everyone can like draw a, on a certain part of the screen, that is definitely cool. I don't think I could do it though because my internet is uh, really poopy right now. Oh yeah, it's... Yeah. My my um <laughs> my browser is going incredibly slow. But yeah, I'll check it I'll check it out when my internet is actually up to speed. Chat, if you want me to cut the music up, just let me know. If I revealed this, then yeah, turns into that. Is there any way to yeah, just reset? Them with some of my subscribers before I had so many cursed moments saved from it. Oh, I bet. See, democracy is cool and all until, uh, you know, <laughs> un until it, it, it devolves into something horrible.
There will never be a day where I let go of the pencil tool. I'm just saying it right now. Oh, you know what? I should change what the game is. Aw, oh, dude, I'm just looking at the stream preview. It looks so cozy. This music in the background, see the just Krita open in the corner in the little chat, please. I like it. Gons, I'm pretty sure we all hate Christian and we don't want to mention Christian at all. She who shall not be mentioned. It's better for you to not know emoji. You're you're fine without knowing. This is on the same layer. I'm stupid. Where are the group? I know one of my Discord friends, uh, they were watching that entire series, and I was just like, why would you subject yourself to that willingly? That that that's just like no. <laughs> Do not think about Sonic or Pikachu ever again. It's already like bad enough that there are some uh, there are some fusions on a Pokemon Infinite Fusion that reference Sonic Chew, notably just Sand Slash and Pikachu, I think. You drawing? Oh, it's man, it's just a it's just a basic little sketch. I mean, at this point, at this point, I don't know how to fully redraw. I just need to look at some of my old work in my sketchbook and probably like trace over previous artwork that I've done. What's happening? Spook, spooky. Wait, what are you? <gasps> this is a completely new duck. Bull duck, Taurus duck. <laughs> Don't say the S word. Better, of course. 
another place in the universe, up under different stars. That would be where the ultra death thing would come in. You guys ever listen to one of those types of videos? Just put them on in the background. Like, have you seen that one Adventure Time shit post where um, it's the uh, the skeleton talking to Jake? It's just like, oh, don't cross the river. It's just like, see, the river is fine. And then Jake jumps in and the skeleton just goes on a philosophical um, lecture. Like you guys ever just listen to those types of videos? Because I know I do. Not often, uh, as I put it, right? But it, it is it is something that I do tend to just find myself watching from time to time. Wizards of Waverly Place or Labyrinth's videos? Nope. Just music and long videos I've seen before. Yeah, that's fair. remember how to like shape don't increase that size please I usually add like shading to like a different layer I'm just doing this just because I just randomly thought about it yeah that seems good Watching a five-hour Shrek video for a few days. I saw a seven-hour recap of the events of Demon Slayer recently. Because I read the manga, and I had already seen one recap beforehand, so I just wanted to watch another one. I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just trying to think like, okay, what, what should I do? This, obviously. I love coloring with a watercolor brush. Something about it. <laughs> you can hear me just clicking the button. Coloring around the eyebrows. Oh. I got an achievement. What happened? What happened? Willie found his way home. <gasps> Who are you? Oh. James Bond. 007. Something happened. Wow. It, it's called Hypnospace Download because it's all on the back of a giant hippo.
This is the most cozy stream I've ever watched. It's just four individuals watching ducks. Welcome to Duck Simulator and welcome to like what pretty much was like 50% of the YouTube streams on the main channel, right? <laughs> It's like regardless, regardless of if this is aiding and growing or not, I still love this. Like the fact that I can just collectively sit here, stream ducks, do whatever I want in the background, talk with just random users and just look at some ducks. Like this is, you know, I, I remember talking with one of my friends about something like this to where one thing that I've grown to to love when it comes to conversing is mutual silence. Just having multiple people here in, in, in one space and despite nothing being said, there's still like, you know, there's still like some form of socialness and the fact of like we're all here and if we ever just wanted to talk we could just say something immediately right like we could just we could just like i mean you know it's the appeal of streaming just like like hey you know if you ever feel like it you can just type something in chat and i'll, I'll read it out Does something yeah exactly like that so yeah and that's that's something that i actually like because if you can if, if there is a moment where you are sitting down right or you're just in silence with a person that you know and both of you are just not saying anything like there's no conversing there's no happening there's nothing happening. It's just the pure ambience of what's happening, right? Whether it be on the screen or, you know, I don't know, like, like playing, playing a video game or just straight up, just doing nothing, just hanging out. It's that mutual silence that I just love so much. Like, you don't have to say anything that that's not a requirement. It's just the presence of multiple people here and the fact that you can connect with them socially at a whim. It, it's just it's just nice in its own right. You know. My friends were doing that last night while playing Deep Rock Galactic. It felt good. Yeah. I bought Deep Rock Galactic because um, it was on sale. It was like, like 10 bucks. And I saw that it had a bunch of DLC, but one of my friends immediately like told me, hey, it's OK. Um, the game works on a battle pass. Um, all of those things are purely cosmetic and for each and every single item you skip in the bot in the battle pass you don't obtain it goes into the regular loot pool so you know you can still get everything completely free of charge and i'm like wow that's that that that's a new feeling <laughs> You only suck at talking to people. Mutual silence makes me made me anxious, but your streams are genuinely super sick for the super fun and chill. And I like that. I, I like the fact of um, I, I always like being reminded that I don't have to exclusively do one thing to to to, you know, do like a good stream or maybe even I don't even know a good video, right? Because I could just always, I could just always make these types of videos. If I ever grow to be like a massive creator, I, I always wanted a channel where I just talk about stuff. 
I mean, I just, you know, I just, I just talk about things and it, it'd be like a hybrid between something like degenerosity, um, kneecaps and all those other things. And like, maybe, you know, I don't know, something, something like, a like it, it, it had like those types of topics for like, like type of like satirical, like, um, meme topics or like things that I genuinely get like heated by right but there are also just be moments where I just you know I just express my thoughts about something it's kind of like the the Ko-Fi video that I posted back then right where it's just like oh hey um I, I you know this is a selfish thing to be saying this I I, I have a Ko-Fi for direct patronage reasons um i want to act as like a safety net for my dad as well as like i want this to be my future right also yeah i mean there are moments where you you know i also overthink silence as well like i think i have to say something i have to do something i have to act out but in actuality, I don't, I don't have to do any of that because it's mutual silence. Your presence is appreciated naturally. And I love it. It's so great. Don't do that. I'm going to start making video essays about Splatoon topics. I'm waiting until I could possibly get my channel monetized because my parents really want you to do that. Hmm. I mean, in all honesty, I've, I've thought about, you know, putting my foot in with the um, Splatoon commentary side of things. I, I do like um, what I do in terms of like gameplay editing, but I what is it i i know like some of the videos that i've made concerning splatoon commentary was kind of like like it, it was good i still like that big run video despite it not really doing as well there was one that i did with like special power up before the game came out because i thought like they were gonna really buff some of the undertune subs in the game and special power up was really dangerous to me because it's just like oh we could enter a meta where it's just all special spam you know like all special spam big bubbler sub power up type like noise right and it's just like yeah it aged horribly but i still think it was a decent video I'll get the squid and did generosity style videos and pro Kara style video so oh yeah absolutely i mean it's just kind of it's just kind of like um pro Kara is a competitive player of course he's gonna put his videos more of in an educational spotlight whereas like for someone like you and i right like i put a lot of like memes and sound effects in like my videos if i ever do something like that i'd rather it be um you know i'd rather it be a, a degenerosity style video despite the fact of like the two or three commentary videos that i've done concerning concerning splatoon were in a pro kara more educational spotlight is that inferno I think they updated his look. He looks way sleeker now. And the the lights kind of the lights kind of shine off of him a bit clearer. I carve not a huge fan of his newer videos not that i hate them i think they suck because they don't but i prefer more chill content over highly edited content that's a fair point 
Um, I switched to what is it? I switched to the short form content mainly because I know like, well, now, well, I shouldn't say I definitively switched. It's still like it's still a thing that I feel more comfortable with right now, currently. And it's it's something that um, it's something that I've kind of like naturally developed because I know like I know a lot of people um, are like primarily interested not only just in the gameplay, but also just like the comedic aspects of my videos. That's what kind of differentiates me, I guess despite not inherently being unique or doing anything special like i mean hey if i had a modded switch and if i had like the you know the dynamic camera mod like yeah i i would do i would do what i can with that but hey i mean octo boy is also a person who does that so that's also not inherently unique oh it's dispensing two ducks at a time that's the reason why I see um, Sonny and Zuck again. Do you like the stream VODs? Yeah, they're cool. This is a completely different duck. It is. I like how the I, I do appreciate how the special power of vid was one of your favorites, Wuzu. Like I said, I mean, the video aged horribly, but I mean, am I, am I gonna like blame myself for it entirely? No, it's just like, I, I made, I made like, um, people, people even like say it. it's just like, you know, you do make a pretty good point. That is something I have not thought about. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Okay, so check this out, right? I'm going to, oh. I'm going to cover this entire coat with blue. Least favorite types of editing is the challenge style videos like where they're constantly changing POVs and throwing a lot of different things at you at once basically Mr. Beast <laughs> yeah well hey it, in the modern day and age of the internet that's what's just in like the the sensory overload type of uh, the sensory overload type beat right check what layer this is it's you Aww. that's lame what do I use to draw I have a drawing tablet the spooky is happening again Right. Look at this. Oh. Oh, that's what happens. Okay. Like they 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 what is it? The UFO kind of like drops one of them in. Hello.
Yeah. So wait, they go in there and then they just kind of They just kind of get ejected out of the thing Get those fits and give me such a headache sometimes they're funny for a sec but they get so bad after like five minutes. Yeah, I, I Kind of like how I do things. I, it's just like I, I Want to incorporate a mixture of something like that to where it's just like yeah, you know, this funny things happening at the start, but then later on, like as you watch the video, it's more calm. Things are more like fair and consistent and there's not a lot happening at once. It, it's just like, oh, you know, here's one shot. Here's another shot. Here's a, you know, it, it's just like a natural flow to it, right? So, what even is this? Oh, this is the sketch layer. <laughs> what I want to erase is this, yeah. I'm gonna make videos where you start off with an incredibly dumb concept or idea and make something deep out of it, yep. Take a look at this sandwich. Explains Newton's law in the process. I don't even know how I managed to do this. You actually want to know something. I, I think um, the concept of taking something like inherently silly and making it a serious thing, I think that's somewhat reflected. I don't know if everyone here knows Simple Flips, but there was one thing that he did to collectively gaslight um, his viewer base into believing that like his walkies series, it, it's a series to where he like he see if he can reach like he attempts to reach uh, S rank via exclusively walking and Mario Maker multiplayer or Mario Maker 2 online. And it's the funniest fucking thing because like in the video, he literally just like like works with one of his editors to just like add a burger in every single thumbnail and just pretend like what they were they were always there <laughs> it's called the burger conspiracy you can just type in simple flips the burger conspiracy it's like i rarely watch it i only watch it on like um occasions where i think about it but yeah, it's really funny. All right, Gons, thanks for being here. Yeah, don't worry. Next time, my internet will definitely be better, hopefully. I hope so. 
because if not, then I'm going to go up to Spectrum and beat the ass with my fucking noodle horns. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, Steampunk Duck? Oh, I love you. What are you a part of? Tugboat. That's your name. Uh, does it have? Yep. It has reflections in his eyes. That's insane. And and in the metal plates. I love that. That's so cool. Is Anarchy? back go back here all right so the white line is gone that is good um is there a way that i can i cannot merge groups it's fine <laughs> Found a placid, plastic duck sim playlist on Spotify. I don't know if it actually has the songs or not, but still, yeah. I mean, the the first pool songs, the Infinity Cool, as it's, you know, as it's called, those songs are really great. The one in the uh, Quacking the Ice, the, the Log Cabin one is also just really good <gasps> oh i like that You can just make like stains with that. What about this? That's cool. I'm thinking of like doing something like like that when it comes to the the coat. It needs like more contrast to like stand out. I need to find a a hundred percent no commentary of this game. Yeah. Something like that would be really cool. Oh, dude, that <laughs> oh, no, that looks so cute. Just having, just having like the splatters there. Okay, I know what I want to do.
Can you guys tell that I like colors a lot? Ever since a kid, ever since I was a kid, I always fucking loved like rainbows and shit. Ever drawn a piece of clothing you like so much you wish it existed and was chilling in your closet? Um, no, but I'd like to develop my art to that point because I remember, um, I, I have like concepts of clothing ideas and those are definitely something that I wish were in the thing. Actually, you know what? Having the splatters on like the outer edges is a cute aesthetic. What do you got? What do you, what, what do you think, Moji? Am, am I am I cooking? Leaving the ink splatters just like outside the outline? one other one like right there <laughs> I'm blind zoom in like what is it having the the ink sp having like the color splatters just like appear on the outer edges maybe even like make it into a sort of like background That's also one thing that I've had a knack for when I was a kid. I love making backgrounds and like things with rainbow aesthetics. Anything with a black, gold and rainbow aesthetic is literally everything that I drew when I was a kid. Looks like straight up watercolor. Yeah. Okay, well that has to be at the bottom, so. There we go. Backgrounds are my enemy. Backgrounds are a surprising amount of artists' uh, enemies. Ah, oh, dude, this shit gonna make me cry. Look at how beautiful it is. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I should save the magenta for something else. It should be like a... Like a... Purple at first. Be little accidents, exactly. You know, a game that actually really like expressed my like love for colors is De Blob 2. Now, I know for a fact, um, you know, like, that is not a game that will seem familiar to anyone, but it was a game on the Wii that was really, really, really cool, IMO. And it was just, it, it literally the main, the main, uh, like gimmick about the game is that you played as you played as blob and you just painted stuff it was a game about liberation and freedom
another place in the universe, up under different stars. That would be where the altar destiny would come in. It's really cool. Oh, uh, first thing you need to uh, do is to consider time as officially ended. Need to do that. And that. Uh, bring you here through either isotope teleportation, transelectric. Port it to switch. That's what I'm saying. The. What is it? The studio who made the games sadly went bankrupt, though. made me really 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 sad of all of these different colors it always puts my mind at ease just something about it Look at that, dude. This one part that I missed. Which one was it? It was this one, right? Yeah. And red over here. so sick so far yeah it's it's mainly just the uh the hoodie that's the uh the main appeal right now It's like my my general like like character aesthetic has shifted so much. It used to be green, it used to be blue, it used to be red. Currently it's purple. I mean it's always kind of been black, but black black isn't a color, it's a tone. This look Look kind of a bit too dark. So like maybe something right here. Well, no. Let me actually use watercolor. 
I'm going through the whole rainbow, yeah. And look, I can like bristle it up with a uh, like the Q-tip brush a little bit. You are way too big. That's because you are in eraser mode. Not really the best when it comes to eyes, but I know something that I want to do, or at least I want to attempt. <gasps> Wait, what are you? Oh, look at you. I like you. Wait, are they rainbow stars? Oh no, they're the <laughs> they're just fun dip stars. They they go from um. You know, since it has like a turquoise aquamarine pearlescence, it, it just shifts from blue to green. Fun dip. Any new ones yet? Oh, these two, right. Um, CC, because CCTV and Astro, because I'm boring. <laughs> this duck is just called Seb. Oh, <laughs> Bond is just in the, the ship this time. I think they're all in here. I wish there was like a universal way to just listen to the music wherever you are. Look at Tugboat go. Something glowing in that hole behind the, the thing. Tugboat looks so pretty. Oh, now Marple is in the ship. Who are you? Oh, Bond is back, okay. But it's definitely cool. I'll be giant, please. Try something different, something unique. Do you love how that provides a kind of, kind of like a border on the edges, though? You know what? I should have made this like. A deep brown. Yeah. 
I see even the song agrees with me. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what if I just go all out with the rainbow? <laughs> like, like, we just go so far out, like, ev even, even in the eyes. Like, there's, there's just color in the eyes. Everything rainbow. Yeah, exactly. God, they like they snapped on, they snapped on this just like randomly. The the music in this in this DLC is just like so good. Oh yeah, right. There's this. Let me check the stream preview. This is like the most comfy, most open spot, but like literally <laughs> most of the ducks are just like over here. I think there are also some in the ship. Maybe. Wait, is that B? B. There she is. Wait, no. We done. There we go. Experimental webs. Let me see what this is all about. Oh, right. Oh my goodness. I forgot this was a thing. What if I just like... You can do like hypno eyes with this. Mementos. Actually, let me <laughs> let me switch to red real quick. But yeah, dude, that's so cool. I forgot this was a thing. Just. Just do something like that. Man, what? That's sick. So if I just do it on like the outer edges and just like Oh, that's really cool for like a background. What's this one all about? Oh, this is cool. Wow, look at that. There's like so many brushes and like stencils here that I have just like not used. 
that I could have been using for like the longest time. That's crazy. Chrome thin. Oh, right, it's this one. I remember this one. This one's just freaky looking. Got that Izanami no Picaro type look. More Persona 5. Then of course there's like the 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 background stamps. I know what those are all about. I just kind of like erase. How would this look? That looks cute. I like that. Just, you know, light erasure. Yeah. We'll have that as like a. Maybe as a sort of like placeholder, I guess. <laughs> placeholder, quote unquote. I'll never return back to it. It's just like that's that that is the design now. That's just what it is. So chat, all two people that are here, three people, sorry. <laughs> um, I felt my stomach rumbling and I just thought, hey, what are you all going to eat today? Me? Gungaga. Um, I don't know, my dad brought um, like a leftover taco over. I'm probably just gonna eat that. Ah, oh, it's this song. I love this one. Okay, where's the, the watercolor? There we go. Had pizza a little bit. I had a pizza. Um, what is it? I had a pizza that my father brought last weekend. It was really good. I ate like four slices of it as soon as it showed up. No idea when you're gonna eat. Dig around for something eventually though. Mood. Euro. I hope you enjoy your Euro. Actually, you know what? Screw it, let's just, let's just, uh, let's start on this. Where are you? Uh, there you are. Whoa. I just made the chat larger in OBS by a complete accident. <laughs> oh, this baby right there. Maybe. There's also another duck that's about to show up. Maybe another two ducks. Now see, I can't remember your name, but 
Oh, dip? Yeah, dip and dots. Uh, your name is Spot now for no reason at all. No reason. Aside from just the fact that you're covered in spots. <laughs> Krita. What happened to Krita? There we go. Wait, in actuality, um do this at a low opacity let's make it like a soft color type of type of background when it comes to me doing those You know, I need to actually like mark these in, right? Then you are just red. Then you're magenta. Then we're bell. that because we still need to mark in this. on okay there's still some spots that need to be marked the q-tip there's the q-tip just randomly thought about something what if i just decided to just soothe all of these colors in together look at that Happy Pride Month.
There's no more space shenanigans happening. realize this entire time the mic has been like kind of far. At some point, I should play Red Vox on the stream. I know Vinny allows, uh, what is it? Vinny tries his best to just let people, you know, like play his music on his, uh, just on any stream, right? I just got a random flashback to Ocean Man and how much I love that song. Ocean Man. Good point, Mochi. It's 
Sometimes it's hard to like do eye colors with like no definitive outline for it. Sick, not gonna lie. That also seems really familiar on how they're structured. music nerd but the constant symbols and that song is really good yeah eyes weren't fully marked down yeah. um Get rid of you for a second and just like, yeah. I like this song a lot. You know what, that'd be good for like, something like teary eyes, right? Or maybe even something like a full on, uh, like a full on eye glint, right? Not mean to do that. I don't know what was the thing that I used again. You? Yeah. I just heard a duck fall down and I'm just like, ooh. What was that? Mission control something alpha check. <laughs> oh, this pizza. Pizza, this wood. Where are you? Camo. This marble. Actually, I don't think your name is Marble. Marble is like one of the stone ducks that just sinks at the bottom. Yeah, you're glass. Yeah, <laughs> what is it? I think I named him Camo at first, but. The camo duck is actually just called Big Boss. Which, how about that Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, huh? 
Uh, no one here plays Metal Gear Solid, myself included. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited for the new Spider-Man, but I don't have a PS5, nor do I want a PS5. Something that I can do to this. Tried to play it, didn't get far through because I suck at those games. I mean, hey, that's fair. This time it isn't the exaggerated swagger of a black team, it's the exaggerated swagger of a soon-to-be middle-aged white man being possessed by an alien soup. Sorry, did I say soup? I meant to say suit. New soup. I know everyone's here excited for new soup, right? Gotta be. Gotta be excited for the new soup. What if I just add like dots of the col of the colors? The way I'm doing this right now reminds me of Doma from Demon Slayer. Because this is how his eyes are structured. You know, I just unintentionally did something. I put all the warm colors over here and like partially some of the cooler ones over there. I really have no direction as to where I want the eyes to be. I just, I don't know. I just want the eyes to look cool.
Eyebrows. I would really prefer it if um, you know, had a more solid black color to help specify that. Yeah, these little markings right here, they're eyebrows. Look at them. You know what? I should turn on the uh, cinematic AFK. Yeah, okay. It's just, just pretty much just like the PFV has just strictly been on the pool. Okay, so behind behind this, I do want a layer of like white just for um, like this just to give an outline I have like no consistent structure when it comes to drawing things I, I literally just act off I, I just act off a of pure instinct when it comes to this like I see something that's just like oh that'd be cool that'd be nice if I did this that or third and then just you know that's just what it is now And now I suddenly remember why I turned off the cinematic cam. It's because of the music. Look at Tugboat. I got an achievement. How'd I get an achievement? No idea, but hey. I got one. Should I, should I just say screw it and do it, Mars? About it doesn't feel as impactful. Actually, where is the brush again. There you are. SpongeBob, me boy, you're two seconds late for work. Get in the kitchen and make me some money. Needs to be a bit bigger than that. 
Okay, there we go. There's an achievement called Milk Away. I'm assuming something correlated to the cow duck, but that's um, it's definitely an achievement name. <laughs> How can we how can we gussy this up? Because I mean this is pretty this is pretty much just done. Favorite book is getting a sequel. Sick. that this was a thing so like if I was extraordinarily skilled I could have done that for like an outline oh look at me I'm so good at outlining I can outline things without even trying it's just second nature to me Moji, I get a flashback to that one comment that you left on the custom junior video where it's just like, oh, just move. It sounds like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> it's like top three comments in a modern Ritz and Blitz common section. It sounds like the same common, se common session. Session of commoners. Oh, did y'all know, like, Corey Kenshin is in the FNAF movie? This shit was cool, first time I heard about it. this work that's not it that'd be good for like vitiligo pieces yeah it was just kind of it was just kind of like unexpected for me like I did not I did not expect it but I mean at the same time I'm not surprised I'm just, I, it's just like if anyone was going to be in the FNAF movie, I, if any, you know, YouTube e-celeb was going to be in the FNAF movie, I thought it was going to be Mark. He's pro He probably has a cameo in it, not going to lie. Which, I mean, I know, Corey, I know Corey has a cameo in it. It'd be cool if Mark had a cameo in it. Is anyone going to see it? Uh... I'm not sh I'm not sure if I'll deliberately go out of my way to see it. I know like Springtrap is on it for some fucking reason. <sighs> okay. But yeah. I'm definitely going to see the movie at some point though. It's 
still can't believe there's a FNAF movie. Tell me about it. Surreal that we're living in that time where FNAF is nostalgic. Just like FNAF, <laughs> just it, it, like you have to, you have to remind yourself FNAF is just a random like game made by a dude who made like, you know, like Christian orientated games and made a, a, a game involving like a beaver and chopping down some woods and people are just like, oh, you suck at this because they all they all look nightmarish. You, you, you're, you're bad. Greatest comeback story ever told. I know some of my Discord friends are definitely going to go and see it. Notably one that is like a massive FNAF fanatic. Ha! A, a massive fanatic. Fana FNAFic. Ha uh, ha ha ha. Laugh. You, 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 you can laugh now. Imagine getting told, get good and actually seceding. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, it's also another thing. You got to remember Undertale was being developed by one dude in a basement somewhere when he was still probably working on Homesuck. <laughs> Which yes, in case you don't know, Toby Fox indeed work on worked on Homestuck, which is also just something so, like, something that's so partially you know trippy, right? gotten to Homestuck, same. I never, I didn't know what it was until like randomly learning that, hey, I had a Megalovania cover, which is just like, oh, it's like, huh. In the case of lighting, I always have it shine from the right. I'll let the left be my good.
I remember seeing like a Twitter thing where people apparently hated eyes being drawn like this, like just overlapping the hair, which is just like, dude, who cares? <laughs> I think it's cute. It has more expression. I like this. This is very, very sweet. Oh, I just re oh, I just realized it's you, Babs. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was Woozy because I just saw someone with a dog PFB, and I'm like, oh, that's just Woozy. Just watching some ducks. What the hell? I didn't even realize it. Cow floaty. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. It's just I was tabbed into Krita this entire time. Is anyone inside of it? No? It's cute, I like it. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. What thing am I on? I'm on this. realism embrace cartoony art styles yep I need to really get into the swing of like drawing um, lips and hair. I want to enter the the POC. I want to I want to become full POC artist, right? Because <laughs> holy, holy crap, man! I know some people out there they can they can. They can make the most gorgeous set of locks I've ever seen. Oh yeah, I saw something on like Twitter the other day. Just like, oh God, it's dejected to this. Um, apparently there was like a cosplayer that toned her skin black to do a cosplay. And it, it, it just it just reminded me of the fact of like how, um, you know, like like uh, black people, like African-American people, people of color, just in general, like they try cosplaying and then they get slandered because oh, it's, 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 you're not you're 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 black. You're black, okay? You're black. You can't cosplay that character because you're black, right? But when when the white woman tones her skin black to do a cosplay, now suddenly it's like, now suddenly it's like, like, like yes, like yes, beautiful. My my queen, my queen. Saw that post. Yeah, I had that. I just had that recommended to me, and it's just like that. That was just 
that was just like so crazy. Cause it's just like, cause it's just like, I, I, I saw the cosplay. I didn't even think nothing of it. I just thought it was, I just thought it was a, I thought it was like, you know, a, a, a you know, a black woman, but then, but then like the quote retweet literally said like, I clicked on this profile expecting a beautiful, a, like a beautiful ass black woman. And then I just greet it with just a white woman. And it's like, what? I, I, I click on it. I'm just like, I, I look I look at the the profile picture of the the cosplayer and I'm just like god damn it man what the fuck is this like what like what like what the fuck is this yeah no for real and it, it just it, it just like it's just like man what i swear dude i i i still i don't i don't know what to say other than just the cosplaying space is just oddly like oddly the like one group of people that are just mostly deep rooted in some form of racism like i, I mean you know i i'm not i'm not definitively speaking on behalf of the like on behalf of the entire thing. But from what I've just seen, it's just like, wow. It, 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 like no wonder there are so many like African-American people that are so afraid to cosplay a character that they want to cosplay. Yeah, no, literally it's the plankton clip. Ah, it's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness. Squidward. I get people dress up as silly characters without being biblically accurate. See, that's the problem. The Bible. Get rid of the Bible in that equation. You'll be cooking. <laughs> Part of me wants this to be like the new channel PFP, but I don't know the little dude is also kind of iconic. I may do like a re-rendition of it. Okay, it is this. I don't know how many times the songs have looped, but I, 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 I think this one is my favorite. There's, there's one other song, but I think, I think in terms of like all the, um, space pool songs, this one is my favorite. Also, yeah, the. That. I love the I love it when any song does that 
and that exact same um what's it called a percussion Ooh. look at pearl beside the the moo moo plush this is an excellent pov Just like Q tip a little bit. I think this one may be my favorite. Or what is it? The the other favorite that I mentioned. Opacity of this. Yeah. Pink one next to the cow floating. Hey, look. Look at this. Yep. That is what that duck is. Also, her name is Girl Boss, because of course it is. God, I still I still think I suck at shading, by the way. I mean, not like this is not like I mention this all the time, but yeah, I, I still think I'm like not the best at shading. Like that's something I really need to improve at some point. Shading is not my best quality. There's a lot of things concerning art that isn't my best quality. I just grab a pencil and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, do this, do that. All right. Look at that <laughs> full, ha full happy pride month mode. I do want this to be a yeah like 50 is good well lighter there we go
I just love the many moments to where I just like I catch people with a, a bit or a joke mid typing and so they're just like it's it's so great I love it can I not increase the size of this I can't that's the gim that's your gimmick that's that's your thing You know what? Go off of feeling. You'll feel your way there. If you let your heart take the driver's seat, you will reach the conclusion that you wanted for so long. That or you'll start to get even more impatient and you're more likely to fuck up. <laughs> You best be careful. The whole world is watching. What if I just made it like really small? Then I just like. Huh. That's definitely something. I could make like an, like an, like an equalizer type of thing. Oh, you know what? That like that looks so sick. Actually, I like I like that. What happens if I just like make it like lime green? Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Gotta make a layer at the top. Control X. Not that. 
Control X, Control V, put this at the very top. Yeah, glitter. I, <laughs> yo, this is this is so pretty. Hold on. I wish there was a way to like make it brighter. Hey Max. just vibing here on the stream. How's everyone doing? Uh, I'm hanging in there. Just chilling with the stream. That's just what I'm doing. Making... What is it? Finishing this, like, piece that I sketched a very long time ago. You know what? Um... Go back down just lower the opacity of this. So what is the size? There we go. <laughs> Everyone's just drawing. It's just I randomly thought about it because I'm just like, you know what? We're watching ducks. Might as well do something on the side. And, you know. Just... I always tap into ducks and not Krita. <laughs> Let me go check the door because I'm hearing sounds. for work, Sedge. Okay. What if I just enlarge in this? Like, bring it down a bit. Maybe even rotate it.
Okay, that looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, that's the actual skin tone of this lip shading layer. Alright. Um what am I on? I'm on you. I don't wanna be on you, I wanna be on you. And do that a bit. Now the Q-tip. There we go. this one. Yeah, I feel really content with those. I like it. Like I said, it's a very, it's a very basic piece. It's, it's like nothing special, but it was nice just like the first time drawing it and you know, it's just like, hey, I can, I can, I, I still remember how to do this. There's nothing too complex or complicated, just, um, you know. There's something basic to start off with. I'm glad that I still know how to color, though, that's something. Still can't get off the pencil for my life, though. The, the pencil tool is just something that I just cling on to from my life. I think it looks great though, even for a simple feat. Uh, yeah, simple piece, yeah. Like I said, I, I I don't think I know how to draw really good, but one thing I can do, I know I can do, I'm really confident in too, is I know that I can draw or <laughs> color, I bet. God damn it. Good job, man. You can speak. I'm not confident in drawing, but I know I can draw. Look at the look at the hair without the uh the thing. That'd be sick. That'd be sick for another like color piece. If I ever do like a like a tie dye paint splatter aesthetic again, I'm definitely gonna what is it? Leave it up to my hair instead of um instead of like the coat, like this bottom area being like the focus of color. Uh, 
Let's remove you. That's not a part of that. What layer is that on? I don't know what... Don't know what layer this is all on, but I'm gonna still sprinkle a little bit more stars just down here. What is this? Stylized tree. Splat, spray, wood fiber. Have any of y'all seen the uh, the Pikmin fail compilations? People discovering the, the brutality of um, the first couple of games. It's really funny. Stop, stop, please. Between that, Pikmin is brutal. <laughs> well, yeah, for for newer players, it is. People, um, you know, people discovering the water wraith in Pikmin two. Um, the. The, the very stupid Pikmin AI. Like there was a whole, there was a whole like Twitter thread dedicated to those types of moments. I swear it's so funny. This is finished. I declare it finished. Instead of the boy, it should be called the boy of color. What a lovely little thing.
very neat man with no head. What if I just gave him top up? Baps, if you're still there, we still need to play Scriblio. Or not Scriblio, Gardic Phone. Phone. I do too. Gardic phone once ever, and it was something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But they're ruthless, or they're ruthless. I'm, I'm assuming they're the type of people to type out a whole paragraph uh, as the prompt, and it's just like, no, I, I don't want to do that actually. other I see hmm Gardic phone for friends and family <laughs> Just, you bring real people into the equation of Gardic phone well notably just people within the the group of people playing and it can go from like it can go from like extremely funny to like mean spirited or extremely awkward and such a it's, it's so fast You know, I wanted to make a frog, but I just ended up making like... I just ended up making little buddy.
There we go. <laughs> go for really cute to something I can't say because children might be around. Yeah. <laughs> I remember like last time I played Gardic Phone, someone had the prompt of like cat dog. And I just drew cat just pointing a gun <laughs> at dog's face. Well, dog, it's just like, like a little bork. friend who always put something inappropriate and we know it's them yeah that is also one thing about Gardic phone is that like you you know like certain prompts belong to like a certain person some more hair. Those trumpets just remind me of um, Persona 4 in the song. Da, 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 da. Like that. All right, I think I think I may be done in terms of uh in terms of drawing i could pull up like other stuff while this is open uh <laughs> this, this is a really, this is a really old sketchboard. I remember I tried to like do things concerning monsters. 
This me as a little, and there's me as a gremlin. I am a little gremlin. Or it's like, as you can see, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I have a, I have a thing for like drawing grotesque stuff. It's like a little pocket skill that I have. Oh, this one is uh, months old. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, here's here's one of my old like art pieces. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I say low tier blitz is real. Also, yeah, the shading on this is fucking terrible, but who cares? <laughs> The spikes and the, how the hair flows is kind of insane. This down here is cool. I like the shading on the... What else is there? Oh, yeah, um... What is it? I drew this one time. <laughs> I, just, I just drew this. This is up there. I know, like, Krita is in, like, the bottom corner, and it's kind of... It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Look at that. Dead back into Krita. So, those are a couple of things that I did. All right, goodbye, Krita. That's so silly, I love them, yeah. Thank you for your service. I shall now post this in art. Moji, I just see the I just saw the himbo that you posted. I like the way you do teeth. Those are like, that's a really detailed type of like yawn or scream, whatever he's doing. It's been three hours. That's crazy. Uh, let's look around. Let's see if there's any new ducks. Let's say as I have the easy way of searching if there are new ducks. There are no new ducks. Yeah, at least I could show off this. Look at this. First person duck. It's, it's third person still, but hey, that should be that should be an option. Just zoom in on a duck so far to where you're just now in first person for that duck.
Oh, it is a... It is like a little hatch that switches. I thought so. Yeah, this is a secret pool. Yeah. Tug, tugboat was here. Oh, there's Picaro. And here's B. Here she is. Look at her. Is there anything else that's been happening? There's Niccolo. Nobody in the ping pong. This is a. That's Dipper, I think. All right, well. I think that is a nice place to call it. The stream was honestly supposed to end way earlier because I was just intended to grind Salmon Run, but hey, I like the direction it went. I was mute throughout half of it, but who cares? Mistakes happen. It's all right. Tomorrow is another day. All right, so to everyone that is here, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling, hanging out. Uh, I will, you know, I'll sometimes do a little bit more of this, right? Just chilling out as usual. The duck streams are always awesome. And yeah, I, I, you know, I hope you all have a good day. And I will talk to you later. All right, y'all. Have a good one. See you later. A bueno, adios, master. This is the wrong one because it was supposed to, you know, that was like the short stream ending. It's uh, it was actually supposed to be this. There we go. <laughs> I wanted it to play out because it was still funny. But yeah, that's the short stream ending. Goodbye. Change the world. My final message. Goodbye.